champions. Tonight, again, in front of a capacity crowd, Sammy Callahan, Corvus Fear 2, there must be a winner. Oh, and Sammy Callahan starting this matchup, disrespecting Corvus Fear, spat on his face, and Corvus Fear comes back with some elbows. Sammy Callahan is so unconventional, brutal, and quite frankly, horrifying. He is the type of wrestler that Tim Burton would design. I mean, and, and as hard as he hits, he's able to take them right back. Look at how hard these two guys are hitting each other, and neither of them is getting down to the mat yet. Big boots right to the face. Corvus Fear comes off with one of his own. A receded Sammy Callahan. And Corvus Fear just taking it to each other here. Sammy puts his shirt over his face, and Corvus Fear goes down with a chop. And that's why I'm an advocate for traditional wrestling tights, not t-shirts and shorts, because they can get pulled over your head. Oh, came off the ropes, got met with a kick right to the sternum. Sammy Callahan comes off the ropes, charging, boot right to the face, and Corvus Fear down to the floor. Corvus Fear on the outside of the ring, and it looks like Sammy Callahan is he setting up for something here, Clemson? Sammy, Sammy Callahan measuring up his opponent. Corvus Fear out to the floor, has no idea where Callahan is, comes up, grabbed his feet, oh! And Callahan just landed hard on the ring apron, the hardest part of the ring, and Corvus Fear, the only one on his feet. Callahan waited a little too long on that iris maneuver, and he ended up getting hit spine first on the ledge of that ring apron. Referee Sean Hansen starting to count. Corvus Fear keeping this matchup out to the floor, and a knife edge chop again, echoing all across the Rawway Recreation Center. And, and he just hits, Corvus Fear just hit Sammy Callahan so hard that it actually echoed against the ring. It was as if he was hitting all the way through his chest to that ring apron. Oh, and a hangman's neck breaker just bouncing Sammy Callahan's head off the ring apron. Neither of these two guys were happy when at our last show, their match went to a time limit draw. They both wanted to be the winner. They didn't want a draw. They wanted a single winner. Tonight, it's a 30 minute time limit. And I think these guys are gonna do everything in their power to make sure their opponent is beaten into unconsciousness. I don't know if Sammy Callahan saw Corvus Fear charging, but Sammy Callahan just fell forward and Corvus Fear went through the middle and bottom rope out to the floor. That was smart by Sammy Callahan, but I don't know if he knew he did it. He comes off the ropes, went for a baseball slide. Corvus Fear caught him, has been a waist lock, and again slams Sammy Callahan on the ring apron. Face first against the ring apron, and who does that? Brutal, high-powered offense in the opening parts of this contest by Corvus Fear. He's trying to he's trying to break bones. The way Sammy Callahan landed on the ring apron, he could have broken some ribs. He's now Corvus Fear is now getting the crowd behind him, chanting JAP here at the 12th anniversary show. 1,200, 1,300. I don't know how many hundred people are here to watch this match to see who the winner is going to be. And look at that, very smart. Corvus Fear rolls in the ring to break up that three count. I mean, really, ten count, three count. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter how many people here, it's a legit sellout. And, he, and over the 12 years, Jersey All Pro Wrestling going into its lucky 13th year. When JAP started in 1997 in Bayonne, it was in a little bingo hall. One day a month it was used for wrestling, the other days it was used for bingo. 100 people maybe showed up to the first show. And just look at the way that Jersey All Pro Wrestling has progressed over the past 12 years. It's astounding that any independent wrestling organization can last 12 years. Yeah, last let, most, and more, most marriages. Yeah, it's true. Let alone grow at the rate Jersey All Pro has. And oh, been such a showcase for such talented athletes. The new horror oh, barely gets a two count on that one. And as I look at this capacity crowd, wait, is this it? No, two count. As I look at this capacity crowd, I wait, is this it? No, two count. I wonder, do these fans realize that the, the, the Necro Butcher and Brody Lee, the Hate Club, and the Heavy Hitters are booked for that triple threat street fight tag title match that will no doubt be all over this Rawway Recreational Center. And if the Heavy Hitters don't win, they have to break up. Great trip, but look out, Corvus Fear, oh! Was gonna go diving through the top of middle ropes, but Sammy Callahan with that stiff forearm right between the eyes, and Corvus Fear is down, and Sammy Callahan bringing in some chairs. I mean, that should, that's a foreign object. 
I don't think that's allowed in the wrestling ring. Talking about that tag team title match, which we'll see. That will be the very last match. That will main event the 12th anniversary show here tonight. A dream for Monster Mac is finally coming true. Well, Monster Mac should realize that the reason that is main eventing, the reason that match is going on last, is because they're afraid the ring will be torn down quite literally by those six men. Yeah, the ring crew won't have to do their job at the end of the night, and Corvus Fear just went certain first into the top turnbuckle, oh. but came out in a German suplex on Sammy Callahan, who's up to his feet, but is seeing stars right now. And that steel chair is still precariously put in position in that opposite corner of the ring, but Callahan may get it here. Springboard splash went for a cover, and Corvus Fear able to kick out, and yes, the chair, it's still in his place on the far side of the ring. And the capacity crowd here in Rahway, New Jersey, trying to pump up these two athletes, Sammy Callahan, Corvus Fear, officially kicking off the 12th anniversary show of Jersey All Pro Wrestling. I can't tell who these fans are more excited to see tonight. Is it Corvus Fear or is it Sammy Callahan? All I can see is that they're excited to see this match. And I, I think they also are anxious to see a declarative winner. Sphere blocked that kick after taking multiple punches. Callahan gets off the ropes and that the Capitani clothesline just took off the head of Corvus Sphere. No, wait, Corvus Sphere's head is still attached. It's a figure of speech, and somehow Corvus was able to kick out. He's got to have Exeter and Headache number nine after that clothesline, but still, knowing the importance of this night, knowing the importance of January 23rd of 2010, was able to kick out. And look at Sammy Callahan now sizing up his opponent, ready to inflict even more damage. I can't believe Corvus Fear is even standing. I know you wouldn't be, Clemson. I never professed to be an athlete, Sam, and I don't think either of you. Uh, actually, I am quite the athlete, but that's neither here nor there. Down goes Sammy Callahan hard. And does Corvus Fear have enough in him to finish this? Not on that occasion. That was only a two count. Only a two count. And I just said it about Corvus Fear, and again, I'll say it about Sammy Callahan. Knowing the importance of this night, Sammy Callahan, a relative newcomer to Jersey All Pro Wrestling, but Jersey All Pro has had 12 years of history so all he has to do is just look in the history books and know how important tonight is. Well, there have been a lot of wrestlers who have made an impact over the year that this could be a defining for, uh, show for. Sammy Callahan is one of them, debuting this year and making quite an impact. Another one is a team we'll see later tonight, the Southside Players Club. Very good point. And I, tonight they take on one of your favorite tag teams, the Assyrian Portal. I don't know if there'll be more stripping or dancing, but I hope there's at least some rest. And look at this, both athletes going right at it. Roundhouse rights and Corvus Fear came out on the, oh, maybe not. I was gonna say Corvus Fear maybe on the better end, but Sammy Callahan with that double fist right to the face. And now pointing to that chair as if he worships it. He's grabbing that steel chair. It should not be allowed. I don't know what referee Hansen is even doing in that ring. Referee Hansen's trying to stop him from that using that chair. That didn't happen. Corvus Fear though with a kick to the gut. Now Fear sees the chair himself. And is the referee gonna allow him to use it? Well, the referee, Sammy Callahan, already put his hands on an official. That should be a disqualification. Now Corvus Fear has that steel chair. This should be a disqualification. And thank goodness for referee Hansen. Oh. Low blow. And while the referee had his back turned, Sammy Callahan used it to his advantage. The kick to the sternum. And then the, and then the headlock driver turned this to submission move here. Corvus Fear, he tapped out. Not only do we have a declared winner, he tapped out. 